Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from 52 Hyder 3D. My name's Christy and I'm going to be showing you how to build a Stargate in Blender. Unlike with the recent TARDIS tutorial I did, this time I'm going to be doing a lot of it in time lapse or sped up because I'm not quite sure how to do them and you don't want to see me uh, continually fumbling around trying to get it to work. So it's just to give you an idea of how to do it and uh, yeah, I hope you can work it out. Please leave comments in the comment section um, about this new way of doing it. I'm not quite sure if it's going to work yet. So let's see what we've got to begin with. Okay, I've got two reference images. I've got a chevron and an actual sort of uh, round gate reference image. So I'll just drag this into Blender. Okay. And let's turn up the uh, opacity. First thing to do is add a circle, if I can find it, and a line to view, and work out the number of vertices you need. Because there's nine segments in a stargate, you need to have nine times the amount of vertices you want in the segment in this time in this instance nine times six and that was 54. just scale it till it fits around the reference image and extrude it inwards and then along so we've got a kind of bevel taper effect Now duplicate it and flip it along the y-axis to create the back. Now bridge the ed edge loops so we have a torus effect. Now add in edge loops to the front. and continue modeling just to get the right sort of shape. Then extrude in the part where the inner ring is. Here I'm just adding a matte cap to see how it looks in a sort of semi-rendered view. Now bring in the second reference image that I've got. It's a chevron. And now working from this reference image, we can just fine tune various bits. We're now going to delete most of the Stargate, so we just have one segment and we want to delete all but six of the sections. So select all that section, press invert and delete faces. We now have to rotate this around the center of the world just to get it into the right position. Actually, this time I don't get it quite right and I have to change it in a bit. So, we need to start adding the chevron. So, go into object mode and create a new object and make it a plane. Align to view so we can edit it better. And you see, scale it in till it's around that outer section of the chevron. Create an inset. And 
um, a loop cut around there just to get the edge create a loop cut down the middle of the sh of the stargate segment and delete one half and add a mirror modifier now slide parts of the stargate around until we've got an effect that you'll see in a second delete these faces create a new face there add another one there Now we'll see, they think that the chevron isn't in quite the right place. No, but first we're creating the inner section of the chevron by duplicating and then curving it around the back insetting and extruding inwards just moving around sections of the chevron just to get it in exactly the right place and now we just need to rotate it around a bit because it's not in quite the right position and the chevron then isn't in quite the right position either so you just need to move that in object mode I'm going to create a loop cut and delete half like we did with the stargate section and add a mirror modifier Add a loop cut and move it to around this position. And then add another 12 loop cuts in the section there. And extrude them inwards just to get them into the right place. These are then going to be filled with the orange color later just deleting the faces that form around the edges of these sections adding a new material calling it Naquida just giving it a grey color going into material view so we can see what we're doing and adding another material calling it Chevron giving it a, an emission and an orange color Applying it to all the bits that need to be orange. Like so. And I think we're nearly there. We've added material to the rest of the Stargate segment. And that's it about done for today. We have still haven't done the back or any of the detailing we can do that later so thanks for watching please look out for the next one you can do this of course by subscribing to this channel please like this video and you can also like me on Facebook thanks for watching